Hey everybody, this is Darth Boy here. I just figured out the problem. The problem for when I was recording the videos like this style was because I had anti-shake on. Now I just turned that off because I got the tripod and no need to worry about it. I'm a little sick today, so yeah, there's that factor. And I've got some Blu-rays and uh, some DVDs and a couple of 4K things that I want to show you guys. And uh, this is one of the archive videos from uh, the hiatus period. Anyway, I've got a few Blu-rays I want to show you guys. This is a Twilight Time release that I just got in the mail today called American Buffalo. This guy I know is from NYPD Blue, and this is Dustin Hoffman. And you can't go wrong with a Twilight Time Blu-ray case. Discard there. Looking real nice and snazzy. As you can see, really nice. Discard. There isn't any inside art for this, which is different from some of the Twilight Time Blu rays that I've seen. It comes with a nice booklet. Like this little blue collar working class movie vibe. Um, just hoping it's a good film. I think I got this for like ten dollars. Um, it was during their Twilight Time sale and they were running out of this, and I've been seeing this on and off. I'm like, yeah, maybe I'll get it, maybe I'll want it. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck it, I'll get it. Capitalism. And this is a movie that I got at a convenience store. I own all the other Resident Evil films. So why not get this one? That was legit my reasoning for buying this. And who knows, maybe I want to marathon these. One second. The Magic of Editing. And this is a used copy of the movie. This is from... Seven Eleven. I really think this might be the last one, which would be great if that were the case. I'm just gonna put this here. I own this on 4K. If you've seen the updates, I own this on DVD in a little custom set. I'm actually trying to print out a custom DVD cover so I could put the Blu-ray case in a bin. Maybe get rid of it. Next we got one of my favorite movies of the year, Upgrade. Which was a masterpiece of a science fiction film. It's a lot deeper than I expected. Really, really deep. It really had some Blade Runner vibes about it. Which I wasn't expecting. Got the cover. Sorry about that, but there's the Blu ray. This did not come in 4K, which I was very surprised by. Anyway, I'm gonna pause this so I can put the thing back. If you're wondering what I'm watching, well, what I was watching was a uh, Mr. Enter video. I do like to watch his content sometimes. Next is another 7-Eleven purchase, a John Wayne film. This will be my second John Wayne film in the collection. And it's a Blu-ray, so I'm not really worried about uh, Disc Rod. Although I'm trying to wonder if Disc Rod is less of a widespread thing and more just a uh, Ish, like a little issue. Besides, this rock can be remedied if you uh, know where to get your discs resurfaced. Anyway, I'm gonna 
cut to another part of the video. So we've got more blue rays and I forgot how much of a pain in the ass this is in my knees. Give me a minute. Alrighty, so I apologize for my very heavy breathing, but I had a really terrible fever of 101 degrees yesterday. And, um, and you guys probably saw that video before. Um, yeah, some of these are just upgrades to some things I already had. Um, these came with extra films. So the Juno and Whippet sets. Whippet is a new film and Juno is a... I liked Juno. I had to actually uh, watch it for a film class about a year ago and I enjoyed it very much. Just gonna put Juno, just gonna put that here. So you got Unknown and Edge of Darkness. I forgot this came with Edge of Darkness, but yeah. Mel Gibson is a piece of shit. I do not think I'm stating anything controversial with that statement. I don't know if this was a used thing or a brand new release, meaning new as in shrink wrapped. Um, I think this was a new release. Probably was. I bought this because I don't trust more of those DVDs. Like I used to. Meaning they used to be more reliable. You got Love, Simon. Which I wanted to check out. A while ago. Just wanted to make sure that was in focus. You know, one thing I gotta do is I gotta just look in the player and see if. Like, if the Blu-ray has the, um, uh, I'm tired, I can't think, the digital code in it. Never record these when you're sick. But I'm going to be probably doing more videos about these anyway. This rated R PG-13. PG-13. Movies like this gotta be PG-13 because these are good movies for people in the LGBTQ community. Movies about like a gay kid, I think. And I'm just trying to get more LGBTQ cinema as a film buff to really examine how well it is as films. Next we got a um, movie that's been on my Amazon wish list for years. Hoffa with Jack Nicholson and Danny DeVito. Uh, Danny DeVito directed this movie and looks like it has the potential to be pretty intense. I think he died and uh, Jimmy Hoffa died in the 80s, though he went missing in the 70s, so it's a little bit of a mystery. Next, we have another true story movie, I Tanya, which I wanted to check out because I think Margot Robbie is, well, an amazing actress. And also a very sexy woman. I 
I just realized I wasn't recording any of that. So, shit. So, here's a desk. As you can see, it looks this is the DVD. And I do have the digital copy code. And this is another seven eleven buy. Get a lot of cheap ass movies at 7 Eleven for like nothing. So most of these are like movies nobody gives a shit about. Like, why did I get this? This looks like a crappy summer 90s horror film. I guess that's the reason I got it. It was also $3, which helped. Okay, so. We have Fault in Our Stars, which I heard was a decent book. One of my friends was really into this. I don't remember if it was a camp friend or someone else. Sorry about that, but the disc was showing. And uh, the case on this was fucked. So I don't a fucked up case, I replace it with a two disc case. So there's that. So next we got one of the most deluxe sets I ever bought that I have ever bought for a single release of a Star Wars film. Actually, the second deluxe. No deluxe. Ah, yeah, fuck it. Here it is. It is Solo. Star Wars Story. I rewatched this uh, for my little Star Wars marathon I did. And I was impressed by how much I liked it. Oh, shit. I actually never looked at the back of this. Gorgeous set. Regardless of your opinion on the film, in my opinion, the anthology films are both pretty damn good. I rewatched uh, both of them recently. They were both really good. Look at that set, man. Look how gorgeous that is. Oh, I'm gonna orgasm. Look at how nice this set is. Not old and Aaron Wright did a good job as Han. This comes with a nice little book that I was just going through. I really was tempted to get the uh, the Best Buy steel book for this because I got some uh, steel book. Um, cases like stuff that should preserve my steel books for longer periods of time you know what I used to have I used to have these uh, it should not be that difficult to get a disc out of the uh, out of the case but Sometimes it is. This isn't how it came with. It came in, by the way. I had to adjust this a little bit. So there's the bonus disc. Oh, shit. I didn't even show you the uh, standard Blu-ray. Which is also pretty nice. Although, in my case, the... Uh,
like look how gorgeous the the uh, artwork around this set is. I was the more I think about Solo, the more I enjoyed it. Like the second time I saw it, I should have complained because I not complaining in the sense of oh I didn't like the movie. No, no, no. the showing of my movie got completely screwed up. What I mean by that is, like, so I was watching the movie, right, but the projector was fuzzy. Like, it was really fuzzy. It was a 3D show, too, and I fucking hate 3D. So on top of that, that it was fucking 3D and uh, fuzzy as hell, um... I also couldn't just, I could barely tell what was happening. When I rewatched it on a 4K, like a few days ago, I was like, wow, this movie looks stunning. And I was really happy with it. I'd be like, Darth Bradboy's a Disney show. He's like all the new Star Wars movies by Disney. Well, I've been impressed. Rogue One I really enjoy, but I'm not sure I would say I enjoy Rogue One as much as I did when I first saw it, I think Rogue One is probably an 8 out of 10. So it's probably a 7.5 or an 8. Um, Revenge of the Sith is probably an 8 or an 8.5. Attack of the Clones is like a 6.5 or a 7. Um, Phantom Menace, I'd probably say the same. 6.5 or a 7. Clone Wars movie... Six out of ten. Like the 2008 one. Why am I rating the Star Wars film? Because I've been doing a little marathon of them recently. Like on and off marathon. Anyway, uh, next set. Alrighty, so we have one of the last Blu rays of the day. And that is this Nightmare on Elm Street remake Blu ray set that I got a while ago. A few days ago, the slipcover's a little beaten up, unfortunately. I did get this on eBay. But, hey, it's a lenticular slipcover, and that's kind of hard to see. Or, was that just the... Maybe that's just the design of the case, I guess. Why did I get this version? Well, I guess I got this because I may have been drunk. Although I don't really know. Maybe I just want to give this one a chance. And it was kind of cheap. So there's that factor. BD Live. Don't really got to worry about that with 4K being a thing. This is a really gorgeous release, by the way. I'm still trying to get all the Friday the 13th films. Um, I own three of them. Well, technically, Freddy vs. Jason is like a... Like an in-between flick. Like, that bridges with both the... Uh, Freddy vs. Jason goes along with... Um, Nightmare on Elm Street and... Friday the 13th. I don't know which I'm going to get. I know a local shop has all the Friday the 13th movies on DVD. And I'm probably going to get them all. Because at this point, fuck it. Like, I'm tr I've am i been trying to get a Blu-ray set of those movies for so many years. Um, I think that's it for the Blu-rays. I could be wrong. Okay. So we'll have the DVDs, and that'll be all. Okay, next we got two DVDs that in no way should go together, but do because I bought them. We got a Noam Chomsky DVD, Manufacturing Consent. And if you look at a lot of the uh, like bonus features of this on YouTube, like you'll get a lot of the bonus features from this DVD on YouTube. Including the movie itself, like uh, the bonus features here. 
can find these on YouTube. So I just thought that was really fascinating. Chomsky's just a very fascinating uh, philosopher. He really, really is a genius. Looks like a brand new shrink wrap and if you, a little bit of warping on the disc. So if you look closely, there's some stuff on the disc. Meaning it's going through a little bit of disc rot. But it's still probably okay. And I got this for like $20. And this one is a DVD that's been long out of print for years, but it's one of my favorite TV films. Because, <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's not, what the fuck? That's me. That just describes me. In a nutshell. And this was also brand new in shrink wrap. And it was imported from the UK. I actually would have been okay with the UK version. But, if you look closely, I think it's even picking up on the camera. There's also a little bit of a, that's not disc rot, that's air or something. It's a little ring around the disc. Let me check. I'm not sure if uh, anything's going to appear on the disc. Anyway, worst comes to worst, if there are any glitches, I'll just take you to, to a local game shop that has a disc repair thing. Anyway, I think that's it for Blu-rays and DVDs until Black Friday rolls around. Live long and prosper and have a nice day.